Uh, I fully briefed uh, President Clark, uh, who uh, wants me to convey on his behalf his extreme disappointment um, and uh, his belief that uh, the governor should not put this political agenda ahead of the uh, children here in Chicago. Um, governor Rauner uh, today acted impulsively and recklessly and he reneged on a fundamental promise he made this summer to our school children, uh, our teachers, and, our, and these children's parents. Uh, governor Rauner's actions um, threatened the progress of nearly 400,000 innocent children, children who have nothing to do with the governor's legislative standoff in Springfield, uh, children who have nothing to do and did not do anything to create the dysfunction in Springfield, uh, children who simply want to receive their fair share of resources so they can complete the school year uh, and have the resources they need to do that and get their educations. Uh, they should not be pawns in Governor Rauner's cynical political game. By going back on his word, Governor Rauner is treating Chicago children like they deserve less than every other child in the state. With a stroke of the pen, the governor is relegating poor or attempting to relegate poor minority children to second-class status again and erasing the gains uh, made in the summer legislative session. You may recall that prior to this summer's budget, CPS children received just 15% of state funding uh, despite being 20% of state students and despite being a system that is 85% low income and 85% African American and Hispanic. That's a disparity that's not only shocking to the conscience, it's a likely violation of the civil rights laws. With his attempt today to undo the summer's budget uh, and, and renege on his promise to Chicago school children, uh, the governor has put us right back where we started. And that is fundamentally unfair to our children. It is reckless, and the, our children here in Chicago should not pay the price uh, for the governor's politics. This is a move that goes against the bipartisan agreement we had this summer in the legislature. Uh, it's a bipartisan agreement with downstate legislators, suburban legislators, particularly those who represent districts with high numbers of poor students. Uh, it was an important coalition, and the bipartisan agreement to open the schools on time and to fund them fairly uh, has now been abrogated by Governor Rauner. But we are committed to working with the leaders in Springfield uh, to generate equitable funding for CPS, and we will not sit back as the governor attempts to make CPS students the casualty of his unrelated political agenda. Happy taking.